their growth and always increased nutritional needs. So we think if childs don't accept these formulas, these are impossible to, to resolve. When children consume a formula as a supplement to breastfeeding or when breastfeeding is not possible, we need formulas. Generally, we need formulas. This formula has hydrolysated aminos, amino acids. So the composition is peptides with molecular weights less than 3,000 Dalton and most of the peptides have the molecular weight less than 155 and, and amino acids. But what happened to this? This is not accepted. We, we, we see always that child don't accept, don't eat, uh, don't drink enough formula. So we have two problems, the growth, the development, and the allergy. And symptoms don't, this, no, don't, test those, don't disappear. So what we did, what we think, what, what, what were the objectives? Evaluation, sensory evaluation, and classificate. We have five hypoallergenic formulas present in the market, and we classificate in the present order of acceptance. And we relate with ingredients responsible for taste. So we generate several hypotheses. What was uh, our evaluation scale? One, two, three, four, five, in order to create and offer the acceptance, uh, a blind sensory tasting, and uh, participates 54 people, uh, students uh, at the uh, University of Buenos Aires and Universidad del Salvador, Ciudad Autónoma de Buenos Aires. These are the scale, and we change face. What were the results? The order of acceptance was E, D, A, C, and B. Um, the best acceptance are those which have uh, in the lactose, uh, glucose, syrup, and coconut oil and milk fat as ingredients. We analyzed the ingredients, the compounds, and related with the acceptance, and discovered that oh, lactose, glucose, saturated fatty acids. But what we what were the results? A, C, and B is significantly low acceptance. Hmm? E and D are low, low acceptance. But D and E are similar, no more significant significance. And uh, we see the presence of lactose, glucose syrup, and saturated fatty acid as coconut oil and milk fat. But level of hydrolysis peptide will, will, will be determining factors in acceptance also. These peptides are different, there are several peptides and amino acids. So reading some studies with relative, uh, relative some essential uh, studies and HPLC studies, we discovered that glycinolamine brings a sweet taste, alanine a sweet bitter taste, histidine a bitter taste, and other 
compounds like iridol monoterpenes, diterpenes, uh, triterpenes, and isoprenoids, flavonoids, benzaldehyde, and some cetones in studies of several food, not only uh, high, uh, this, this, uh, these products, in several studies of lots of food, uh, says, seems bit this this uh, characteristics will be related so what are we thinking the combinations of ingredients and the chemical structure is, is uh, important important chemical structure are they responsible for better taste or greater acceptance and what what's the problem if it's not acceptance the treatment failed in all the all the pathologies not only allergy of cow proteins uh, uh, milk cow proteins uh, in all of the treatments if it's not acceptance the treatment fails it may be a nutritional perfectly nutritional compounds uh, but not acceptance is failing the treatment so we think maybe reformulate with the nutritional compounds, high quality, with uh, all the, the, the requirements and equilibrate, but acceptance. Uh, these are our references. We must continue to the, the investigation and the reformulation with professionals of development. And third, thanks for the team, Mariana Batista and Gabriel Olañero, ambas uh, both excellent professors of the university. And thanks for your attention and your patience. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Professor Diana, for your uh, presentations. Sorry uh, for the accident. No, no, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> it's okay, uh, Professor.